I was on time for many of years, and it mattered not. It wasn't until I was late that they noticed. Yes, and I rejected that thought. All right, well, at least you're honest about it. Happy Saturday, everybody. It is 7.04 of the p.m. hour of my time. I don't know what time it is where you're at. It really doesn't matter because we're going by my time. But anyway, we are here. We have made it to the World Series game. We're the one seed out of the Confederate Conference. The Atlantic Drakes have swept their way to the World Series to take on the two seed, a surprising two seed out of the Yankee Conference known as the Louisville Cyclones. This is only the third playoff appearance for the Louisville Cyclones. So for them to make it to the World Series and get their first pennant, it is quite an accomplishment. My cheer sounds don't seem to be working. Um... I don't know which ones you're talking about. Everything should be up. Well, then maybe it's just down on their side. I don't know. Because I've not changed anything since I streamed the other night. Oh, there it goes. Charge! Thank you for the 200 bits, Sir James. There we go. So tonight, we'll take on the Louisville Cyclones. The Cyclones have three viewers on their team. One is the evil World War II fan. The 200-bit donating Sir James. We won't say he's evil. And then Moto Washington, who is a viewer named Scripted Tanks player. So... That should make it a little bit interesting. The matchups are very interesting as we go into this. Colton Conrad, we've got our youngsters who have to lead. So J2 and Pete kind of got us here, but they'll be setting the bench watching our young guys. Now this could be an advantage to the Louisville Cyclones. Colton Conrad was a stud in the playoffs last year. I'm not that worried about him, but Yusuf has been a little shaky in the playoffs, so that game two, if we, if we slide in game one, we could be down 2 nothing before Pete and J2 get up the pitch. And if that's the case, it would come back around to Colton Conrad or maybe a Captain Pete on short rest for game five. So I don't know. But that Sir James-Captain Pete matchup in game three could be very, very exciting. I've kind of waited almost all week to play this, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I don't know. It looks like in game one, it looks like World War II fan is a little uh, wore out. Sir James, all week I've waited three seasons for a Drake Cyclones matchup. We play during the regular season. We just don't play during the uh, playoffs, it seems like. So on game one, the Louisville Cyclones are extreme contact specialist. They do have a little bit of power. It looks like a little bit more than us. They've got more contact than us. We've got them beat on defense. They've got speed. The rotation looks tough. 
Um, and our bullpens are even. This is a very even World Series. But it looks like they're starting out with Blue Gallagher. She's 1-0 with a 2.57 ERA. We have got Colton Conrad with a 2.16 in the playoffs. We're obviously going to look at their records during the season to see what they had. Colton went 9-2, tied for the most wins with a 3.22 ERA uh, during the season. He held opponents to 250, which is amazing. So only one out of every four hitters got a hit. That is amazing. He only gave up six home runs. Now, if we look at Louisville... Lou Gallagher, she went four and four with a 471 ERA. Got 35 strikeouts. That's not bad. Held opponents to 282, so sub 300. She only gave up five home runs. And she pitched a lot more than everybody else on the lineup, so. Yeah, this could be a lot more close than we think. So she is a righty, so we'll see how we're going to set our lineup up here. I'm going to put Molo back in that fourth spot. Her and Travis have been going well. Sir Studs is still injured, so that means least expected will get the start, obviously. And then Travis will play over at right. Um, I think I'll keep Zenus for this game. Then again, maybe I should go ahead and put Petrie in. And then we'll have Zenus for the next few games. That might be the the way to do that. Because if we play Zenus again, he's gonna he's gonna be out multiple games. So yeah, I think we'll go with that. So that looks like a good lineup. Uh, I I hate that Sir Studs injured his hamstring last game, and we're not gonna have him. Um, but we're gonna have to do what we have to. Let's see who come in. Hi Pyro. Hi Three Dog. Hi Eccentric. Mother love. Hi, everybody. Sir Studs. I wished you did, Sir Studs. God, we could really use your, st your uh, speed in this game. But let's go ahead and get it started. Game one of the World Series. The Louisville Cyclones, the two seed out of the Yankee Conference, coming in here to take on the number one seeded Atlantic Drakes. This is a big one. Their lineup is a mishmash of everything. World War II fan is playing first base, coming off an injury, so he's not 100%. Moto Washington, who is the other viewer in the starting lineup, he is also wore down a little bit, so they opted to keep him in at catcher and not rest him. But Colton Conrad's going to lead this off. It looks like Colorado Furthermore, Kahua Splits, and World War II fan are the first three batters coming up here in the series. I do love the Louisville Cyclones uniforms. They're looking spick and span. And we are off. Let's get the World Series underway. First pitch is in there for strike one. Uh-oh, that's a wavering curveball. That is hit, but Mother Love is right there. And she will routinely throw that over for out number one here in game one. Had to bring up Kahua Splits. I always get really nervous on these games. Oh, that's a bad pitch. And that's probably going to be a hit. Oh, he couldn't come up with it. And that will be least expected. I have to think that if Travis was playing out there, he may have made that catch, but he is over in right field today. And that will bring up World War II fan. Runner on first. Petrie Thornton. Oh, and Petrie Thornton throws him out at second. And that is a big momentum shifter there. And oh, my Lord. That's a ground ball. Could Sky Rodriguez make this play? And she will. And the Drake's hold in the top of the first. We'll head to the bottom. The Goddess of Swing Lethal D feline. Sky Rodriguez and Z Striker coming up the bat. Hey, World War II fan, you 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 created that character, so. Lethal has been on a tear here in the playoffs. 
We'll see if it continues here. Blue Gallagher throws sidearm. I am not happy. Two and one to lethal. That ball smacked, but I think it's going to go right to Kaua splits for out number one. Guy Rodriguez will approach. Take strike one there. That's going to be fouled. She's going to fall 0-2 in the count already. And that's hit, but it's a pop up the center field. And Sean Shipwright, who is rattled out there, makes the catch. That will bring up Z. Two quick outs. Z has had a good playoff stretch as well. Both sides just trying to... Uh, Get a wine. Oh, and Z almost turned on that one. He was just a little late, it looked like. And there's going to be a base hit for Z. So a two-out single puts one Drake on here. Bottom of the first. And we'll get Mother Love stepping up. She is juiced. Look at her power and contact right now and that speed. Oh, my God. We'll take ball one. And that's a base hit up the middle. So two on with two outs here. I think that's going to bring up Travis. He is locked in as well. So let's see what Travis can do here. Foul that one off. And that's going to be a base hit there. They're going to send one run home. Sean Shipwright throws it in the third, and Travis has scored the first run of the game here for the Drakes, and they go up 1-0 in game one. An RBI single. That will bring up Stacy Sevens. Blue Gallagher, she's already a little tense. And that is popped up, and that should bring an end to the first. Marquez makes the catch, and it indeed does. But one run crosses the plate on three hits. Cade Hazeldean, Emilio Marquez, Jason Hole coming up here. Colton Conrad has one run to work with. Now batting the third baseman, number six. Cade Hazeldean. He is locked in as well. That's a terrible pitch. Tried the Stacy Sevens. She will throw to first for out number one. Now batting, the that brings up Emilio Marquez. That's outside. Up. We need to have a chit. Oh. Ball outside. He's back. Well, we got one pitch in there. That makes me feel good. That's a terrible pitch. Terrible pitch there as well. Let's see if we can get him on the curveball. Get him to chase it. He's getting a lot of hits. High heat. Oh, he went after it. Sky's going to have to make the play here. And she will. Two away. But that was a lot of pitches on Colton's arm. Jason Hull. Man, they got some high batting averages. That's unfortunate. I thought that was a good one. Ooh! Come on, Conrad. Oh, he gets him to pop it up. And that should be out three, and we will head to the bottom of the second. It's still one nothing. Bottom of the order coming up here for your Atlantic Drakes. Least expected Petrie Thornton and Colton Conrad here in the World Series Game 1. The Drakes leading here early. Least expected. He's in for the injured Sir Studs. Big strike one. Blue Gallagher back to neutral. That's a ground ball. Should be taken. Jason Hull throw the first in time. One away. Had to bring up Petrie Thornton. Had a good throw out earlier. Maybe his last run around here in the seasons. Getting up there in ages. Him and Bubba Blastman, the veterans. If he can contribute. He would love, and he does. He gets a base hit. He'd love to end it all with a ring. Yeah, they got some nice uniforms, Mad Martin. That color combination's pretty baller. 
That will bring up Colton Conrad here. That's low. Bring some pitches here if we can. Outside. Two and one. And there's a base hit. Oh my God, that might get by. Petrie Thornton is going to head to third. They're actually waving him home. Colton Conrad has brought home a run and helped his own cause. Two nothing Drakes. Petrie Thornton scores from first. Oh my Lord. And that will bring up the goddess of swing. Hit up the middle. Oh, it's maybe. Oh, he's going to outrun. Do that. Marquez stopped it, but couldn't make the play. And the goddess of swing is on. So runners on the corners, no outs. Sky Rodriguez steps up here. And Sky, 99 power. That one's headed for the moon. Put it on the board. A three run shot. And she got every bit of that one. Sky Rodriguez clears the bases. 490 feet and it's gonna roll the board up five nothing drakes here in game one of the world series holy cow a hanging curveball was ignited from the start and it did not come back and now she'll have she is rattled instantly oh and that's almost another one hit but z just missed it shallow right field splits makes the catch and that's two outs excuse me good lord now we'll bring up Molo for two outs. Ooh, that was a good pitch. She went from rattle to tense awful quick. There's another base hit from Molo. Travis. That's a high pitch. Molo's trying to get the second. Oh, and she's thrown out. So their catcher, Moto Washington, who comes up the bat here, did get the arm. So throw outs from both sides here. But the damage was done on the three-run shot. It's 5 nothing now as we go to just the third inning. Moto Washington, Sean Shipwright, Blue Gallagher coming up the bat here. Gonna make it 0-2, so let's not give him anything really good to swing at. Well, he went after that one, and Petrie Thornton will make the easy catch one away. Sean Shipwright. He's batting 0-6-9. Nice. Not really. Not if you're a Cyclones fan. That's outside. Hmm. Oh, and there's a nice, easy strikeout for Colton Conrad there. And that will bring up the pitcher, Blue Gallagher. That's a ground ball. Lethal Feline should handle that, and she does. And we'll head to the bottom of the third. Still 5 nothing. Drake's applying the pressure right now. Travis the Unknown, Stacy Sevens, least expected, will lead off. Travis is one for one, already knocked in a run today. Oh, 0 and 2 in the count. Goes after that one, but it's right to Jason Hole. Should be routine. Out number one here. Had to bring up Stacy Sevens. She went down for that one, but it's right to Marquez, and that's a quick second out. Not what the Drakes want in here. They don't want the steam to stop. So at least expected coming up with two outs, you never know. 
Blue Gallagher trying to come back down. That's a little ground ball. Should be easy. Hazeldean's throw in time. That is probably what the Cyclones faithful wanted to see, and they'll get it here. Top of the order coming up for them. They've got one hit today. Furthermore, splits and World War II fan will bat. Colorado, furthermore, he's batting Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's not going to help it. Sky, perfect throw. She's feeling it today, ladies and gentlemen. Drakes would love to be the first team in the league to have back-to-back -back World Series rings. That's going to be a base hit. So one on, one out here, top of the fourth as the Cyclones try to stir up some action. That'll bring up World War II fan. You look like a science teacher, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, I thought we could have got him there. That's outside. I don't know. I don't know how to get him. High fastball. No. Oh, he didn't get a call. Full count. Ha. Got him on that. Got him on the breaking ball. And that'll set World War II fan down, and that'll bring up Cade Hazeldean. Is that what happened to Olaf? He got the breaking ball, and he just didn't keep going. Oh, and that's going to be popped up. Colton Conrad is pitching an amazing game thus far. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 5 nothing. He's given up two hits. And not really been pressured about runners in scoring position. Petrie, Thornton, Colton Conrad, and Lethal D will come up to bat here. The turn of the order. We'll see what Blue Gallagher can do. Shouldn't have swung at that one. That's right to Marquez. Should be an easy out, and it is. That's Mojo down for him. Had to bring up Colton Conrad. He had an RBI double earlier in the game. Helped his cause. That's a little bouncer. Marquez barehands it, throws, and once again, two quick outs here. That will bring up Lethal. The goddess of swing. And Lethal gets a connection on that one. Is it going to make it? It is gone. Put it on the board. And Lethal D Feline is having an amazing playoff run. Sneaks that one over the fence. That is her fourth of the playoffs, and it's 6-0 now, Drakes. And they're really, really wearing out the pyro machine. That brings up Sky Rodriguez. You get past one heavy hitter, and you have another one. And Sky is going to blister that one to the center field, and that's going to be a hit, and that will bring up Z. Oh, and there's another base hit. So two on, two out. I guess you could say the pyro machine has been sunglasses on, extinguished. Oh, good lord! Yeah! <laughs> that will bring up Mother Love. Two on, two out here. Blue Gallagher is back to being rattled. I'm surprised they've not went to their bullpen here in Game One of the World Series. Oh, and Jason Hole. Makes a diving catch, and that probably saved a couple of runs. We'll head to the fifth inning. Six nothing. Drake's leading here in game one of the World Series over the Louisville Cyclones. Emilio Marquez, Jason Hull, and Moto Washington coming up. Mother Love was definitely, definitely robbed on that one. That quote could probably get me canceled as touchy as people are anymore. You're not allowed to make jokes about anybody. Or games. Or fake scenarios. Bad pitch. 
Never mind, that was an amazing pitch. Ooh, and Colton Conrad blows the fastball by him. That will bring up Moto Washington. He's having a rough playoff, looks like, too. Sir James is like, we're going to win the World Series one way or another. Oh, and that's back-to-back -back Ks. Colton Conrad starting to feel it now. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still 6-0. Travis, the unknown. Stacy Sevens and least expected coming up the bat here. Game one of the World Series. Wow, thanks, Sir James. Now the right fielder, no Travis, the unknown. He's one for two today. Lou Gallagher. Hold on. I got to... Well... I wanted to... I hit the sub button. It even lit up, but it was just like, nope, she's pitching. I should have done a power hit, and that would have been gone. I was wanting to see what their bullpen looks like. Why are they not going? Okay, Sutton Pittman's wore out. TMA Fair's good to go. Chiron Throne is okay, and their closer's a little tired. So they still got... They have two pitchers they could have brought in. But they probably don't want to blow them all in the game one. That's going to be caught. Shoot. Least expected. Don't let him swing for power here. Oh, and two. Two outs. Lou Gallagher. That's hit hard, but right to Marquez, and that's a good quick inning. So we'll go to the sixth. Not a lot of action there in the fifth inning. John Shipwright, Blue Gallagher, unless they bring in a pinch hitter for her. Colorado, furthermore. John Shipwright. That is amazing catch by Lethal D. Feline to take the hit away. And that will bring up Blue Gallagher. Let's see if the Cyclones leave her in, and they will not. Zesty Mackey is going to loosen up and come up and pinch hit here. So Blue Gallagher's day is done. She pitched five innings, give up six earned runs and three home runs. It's going to be a rough play. Molo's there. Throw in time. Colorado, furthermore. That was a bad pitch. That's popped up. Least expected. Having to come over and work for this one. That is out number three. So we'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Tia Mayfair is coming in the pitch. She's got a three ERA here in the playoffs. Five strikeouts. Again, I wish I knew how many innings she'd been going. Petrie Thornton, Colton Conrad, and Lethal D. Colton Conrad was our hero last year in the playoffs. I thought he might be a little nervous this year with that sophomore slump. It does not look like it. Tia Mayfair having some trouble finding the plate. Two and one here. That's a broken bat. Tia Mayfair will take care of that one. That's out number one. Hey, Sauce Man TV, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. For some reason, that it is not doing the, uh, the alarms. So, look at the stats of Colton here. And that's a good hit, but right to Jason Hull. And he's just been on the spot today. So, two outs here in game one of the World Series. Lethal D. Mayfair again, just having some issues. Three and one. That's fouled off. It's going to be a full count. That's fouled off as well. And that is a walk. Amazing eyes. Cat-like eyes, if you will, by Lethal D. Feline. Now to bring up Sky Rodriguez. And that is going to be an out at first, and that will end the inning. Just couldn't slide it by there. Not a good pitch to go after. But we'll head to the seventh inning. It's 6 0. 2 3 4 spot up splits Fan and Hazeldean here for the Louisville Cyclones. Now 
We'll see if they can get through the impenetrable defense that is Colton Conrad right now. He is having an amazing day. Uh oh, that's a bad pitch. That's a ground ball, and Stacy Seven should have that one with ease. One away. Here's World War II fan. He is tense and unwell. Oh, he thought about that. That would have been a good one to go after, and he didn't. Nope, that's inside. Get him to chase. Ooh, he went after it. That's ground ball. Skies chugging on and gets him by a step. Now batting the third baseman. Cade Hazelding. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. That's a hard hit ball, but it's right to Stacy Sevens. That will retire the side. We move to the bottom of the seventh. Z leads off. Molo and Travis the Unknown. They've all got hits today. We'll see what Tia Mayfair can do to slow down this Drake train that's coming through. He's only got singles today. No, Should just contact swing with him. He gets home runs more that way. Nope. Good one. Nope. There we go. Contact swing. I don't think it's going to make it. It's the deepest part of the park. It may drop, though, and it is. And Z is going to bounce into second base. A leadoff double here in the bottom of the seventh. That will bring up Molo. Number 39. Well, that was, I, I, I watched it way too long. I watched that one. Ball outside. Ball I don't know why I swung at that one, but we're still alive. One and two. That's hit to the gap, but I think it's going to be caught. We're going to try to move Z, and I think he's going to get there just because the throw was bad. So, runner is now at third for Travis with one out. And that's going to bring the run in. Travis the Unknown, an amazing line drive up the gut there, and it's 7-0. EC sevens looking for a first hit today. And that one's hit down the line. I think it's going to be caught though. Colorado furthermore brings it in. I got some crit uh, knifing set for my kitchen. I hope they're okay. Least expected also looking for a hit today. That's not going to do it. We'll head to the eighth inning. It's seven nothing. Our bullpen may be getting some good rest. Colin Conrad's working on four strikeouts. He's only given up two hits today. Emilio Marquez, Jason Hall, Moto Washington coming up the bat. Marquez is 0 for two. Cyclones have been hitting amazing through the playoffs. They've just hit a rut here in this game. They've also ran into Colton Conrad. That's going to be a ground ball to Sky. Conrad doing an amazing job keeping the hits down on the ground today. So Jason Hull will step up. Him and chase high fastball. Oh, he thought about it. That's a terrible pitch. Throw another one over here. Oh, he went for it, but Stacy Sevens, and once again, a hit ball is hit down on the ground. Had to bring up Moto Washington. Ball. 
And that is called strike three, frozen, just like Elza. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Petrie Thornton, Colton Conrad, Lethal D. Feline coming up to bat. I almost said that's a bad pitch when I pitched that one because it was not where I wanted it. Ball outside. Outside. Two and oh. Shouldn't have went after that one. That'd have been third ball. He's up. Got antsy. Had to bring up Colton Conrad. He is on fire now. Number Had an amazing day on both sides. And there's another base hit for Colton Conrad. Get him a jacket to run those bases. He is doing amazing. Now batting, the first baseman, number 26. Now pitching. That's going to be the end of the day for TMA Fair. They're bringing out Sutton Pittman. She's got a 7.59 ERA, seven strikeouts. We're going to do the double switch. Moto Washington's day is over. Adrian Santos coming out to play catcher. I would let Colton Conrad steal, but I don't want him to get injured. Reno. This catcher they put in is awful. Like throwing arm. That's a walk. Gotta bring up Sky Rodriguez. That bomb she hit earlier may have just landed. Pittman struggling here. That's inside. Two and one. Oh, called two and two. That's hit up the middle. And they're going to get one. The runners do advance to second and third. That brings up Z. He is three for four today. He's got a double and two singles. This strike zone's wide right now. Ball, that's low. And that's a base hit, and that's going to bring in a couple of runs. It is 9-0. As Z knocks in two more and a demoralizing win here. Number 39. For the Drakes, it's going to really take down. Nope, and Z's going to try to steal on this catcher, and that was easy. We knew the Drakes have been playing well in the playoffs. Ball inside. That ball's hit, but I think it's going to hit the gap. Oh, it's two outs. Furthermore, makes the catch. We'll head to the ninth inning. Last chance for the Cyclones to get anything going. It's the turn of the order. We'll see. Can Colton Conrad shut the door and take game one? Oh, no! No, 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 no. It would appear that he will not shut the door. We'll bring Cayman out just in case. I'm just glad that happened here in this inning. I'm going to get a double play. That, yeah, that may be the last game for uh, Colton. Lethal, nice dive there. Tosses. Kamen holds on to it. Two outs. Let's see if we can hold on to the shutout at least. And we will not. So the Cyclones do score a run here in the top of the ninth. And that'll bring up World War II fan. Ball, that's up. And that's right back to Cayman. So that will be the game. The Drakes take game one of the World Series. 
The Cyclones get a bonus run there at the end to make it just a little healthier on the score line. Nine runs on 15 hits for the Drakes. They had the deep balls going early in the game. The Cyclones get one there at the end as the injured Colton Conrad, who put two hits on them. It will officially go down as, I think, three hits and a run now. And one run on four hits to make it look a little bit better. Looking at the viewers on the other side, World War II fan went 0 for 4 today. Moto Washington goes 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Rough day for them. On our side of the ball, everybody but Stacy Sevens and Least Expected got hits. Home runs today by Lethal Feline and Sky Rodriguez. Lethal went two for three, scored three times with an RBI. Sky, two for five with a three-run shot there for three RBIs. Z goes four for five with two RBIs. Molo, two-hitter. Travis the Unknown got two hits, two RBIs. Coming down, Petrie Thornton, who played in for Zenus today, went one for four. And then Colton Conrad, the pitcher, two for four with an RBI. Great day out there for him. We look at the stats. Blue Gallagher will take her first loss of the postseason. 11 hits and six earned runs on five innings pitched. Tia Mayfair come in, give up two runs on two and a third. And then Pittman would also give up a run in two-thirds innings pitch. Colton Conrad will get the win today and improve 2-0 in the playoffs. One earned run, three hits officially. The one that took him out of the game, he did have five strikeouts. A masterful performance for him. Kamen did come out and pitch an inning in relief to... It's not a save, excuse me. He's already got one save already, but... We just hope that Colton is okay. And Z Striker would be your player of the game somehow with no home runs, but the steal and everything else combined and the four hits. Beats out the goddess of swing, Lethal D Feline. And then we've got Colton Conrad, who we know has been transported to a local hospital and they are working with him. And hopefully, if needed, he'll be back if the series extends to game five. Big blue. Hey, just a flob. Thank you so much for the three months. Let's throw some hypes in the chat. Even throw out that hype. I will throw some customary hypes as well. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the doctors did their best. Let's not talk like that. He's fine. He'll be back. I mean... I mean, honestly, his pitching stats aren't bad. It's just his power that took the hit. So Colton is pretty, and he's in good shape. He's in good shape. He's ready to go. Captain Pete is juiced, but he is a little tense. He's a pitching zombie. Oh, no. So a 9-1 win makes the series 1-0 here. The Drakes have just been on a tear here in the playoffs and the later half of the season. I don't know what's going on. This team has just got a good chemistry with each other. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Would have been a complete game if he didn't. Yeah, I think he would have had the complete game shut out. That is kind of sad. Rub some dirt on it. He'll have to do something. But again, look, the Moose did the same thing in the conference championship. They scored 12 runs to the Cyclones is zero, and the Cyclones come back and won the series. So guys and girls, it's not over. Louisville has a lot of fight left in them. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens here in game two, because we do have the rookie on the mound. We have Yusuf Stark. This is his first big boy outing. I know he's done some playoff matchups as of late, but the World Series is always very different. So game two, 
Enzo Hornblower of the Louisville Cyclones. He's 0-1 with a 5.40 ERA. We'll go up against the rookie phenomenon, Yusuf Stark, the lefty, who's 1-0 and did not give up any runs in his first outing. If we go look at the team and see what their stats were during the season, Yusuf went 8-1 this season with a 3.62 ERA. He does have quite the high average, so he may give up a lot more hits than Colton Conrad. Uh, 33 percentage or 33 hundredths um, is a little bit more so than that. Um, they give up nine home runs, so we'll just have to see. We switch over to Louisville. Louisville. We check out Enzo. He went ooh, one and four during the season. He is a starter slash reliever, so he will not have the same stamina. Three seventeen is what he holds on them. Three seventeen, so that is kind of high. All right, so let's get ready to go into this one. I don't think Sir Studs is ready to go just yet. No, he's, wow, he's healing slow. Stacy Sevens is a little meek. I think I'm gonna move Travis and Molo back. And again, maybe I shouldn't. Now let's leave Molo there. At least Expected's out there. Other than that, Z is locked in. He's ready to go. Um, so I think that's good for us. Uh, we'll check that at the end, but I... I think you may have Sir Studs easily, so. All right, let's do this. Game two of the World Series starts. The Drakes have a one-game lead. We are here at their home field. We'll see what changes the Cyclones bring. Looks like they're putting World War II fan bat in second now. Moto Washington is still in there. Two of their top four hitters are tents. That is an interesting gamble that they are going with. So Colorado, furthermore, World War II fan, Cade Hazeldean coming up the bat. Yusuf Stark, the rookie, heads out to the mound. Now battle, the left fielder, number 45. See what Yusuf can do today, the lefty. Don't get the pitch with the lefty that much. And that's right back to Yusuf. He keeps it down on the ground, and there is a quick out number one. World War II fan. Take strike one. Wild slider. Hmm. Come on, Yusuf. Did you let World War II fan get the hit? Oh, that's a bad pitch. Oh, he did not even go after it. Get him with the slider. Ground ball. Yusuf is going to get two grounders here at the start of the game for two quick outs. And that'll bring up Cade Hazeldean, 243 here in the playoffs for the Louisville Cyclones. COVID is, <laughs> I almost said COVID is te has tested positive for Yusuf. Yusuf has tested positive for COVID. They're going to have to pull him out of the game. And there's an opening hit of the game right there. That fastball was taken, so one on with two outs here. The Cyclones bring up Jason Hole. He's not had a bad series thus far. Ooh, got that call in there. I am shocked. The hanging changeup. Stacy Sevens should have this, and she does, and that will retire the side. 
One hit given up by the rookie. We go to the bottom of the first. Lethal D, Feline, Sky Rodriguez, and Z Striker coming up to bat. This is game two of the World Series. Lethal's been having a heck of a series. We'll see what Enzo... Ooh, he goes right at her. Oh, and it's already 0-2. And, and that is hit. Is that going to be a bloop single? It is. It will drop for a base hit. And that will bring up the ever-dangerous base sensation, Sky Rodriguez. Worried about lethal out there. Moto Washington's got an arm. I don't think I can steal on him. That is popped up. That's going to get foul, I hope. I'd even the count up one and one. Good one from Hornblower. He's got to go at her. She hit it, but down the line, it's going to be foul. Two and two. That is popped up. Lethal's going to have to skedaddle back. That is not the hit and run play I wanted to have happen. So that will bring up Z Striker. He is locked in today. I love when those stats go up even higher. Big pitch there. And that ball is striped, but I think it may be caught. Oh no, it falls. Splits couldn't get it. Lethal's going to extend this out and head to third. And that puts runners on the corners. With one out here in the bottom of the first. An error by the center filler. That will bring up Mother Love. With one out, a sack fly is possible here. And that's not going to do it. She caught the ball wrong. It's caught in foul territory by the pitcher. So two on. Travis the Unknown steps up. Hard hit ball, but right to Marquez. He goes to first and no damage done. Hornblower and the Cyclone defense hold stout. It is 0-0. We head to the second inning. Kahua splits, Marshall ball, and Emilio Marquez coming up the bat. Now batting the center fielder, number eight. I rushed that at bat with Molo. That was my bad. Popped up, least expected, makes the catch. He made me nervous. He didn't wave for it. Uh, no, no V8 energy tonight. I actually just put some in there. It's not cold yet. That's popped up. Sky Rodriguez should have this one. Don't you drop it, Sky. Thank you. Emilio Marquez. Bad pitch. Hmm, it's gonna chase. Nope. Outside. This stream is not, not tonight. Strike. Oh, what a slider by Yusuf. And that'll take us to the bottom of the second. Stacy Sevens, least expect. Oh, I left Petrie Thornton in. You all didn't remind me to put Zenus in there. And there's a hard hit ball. Is it going to drop? No, Colorado furthermore got to it. Least expected. There's a hard hit ball. Oh, Marquez, nice dive throw in time. His mojo is down. And that's not good because we don't really have a replacement for him right now. Petrie Thornton comes in. 0-0 zero, zero game, two outs. It comes up to bat, excuse me. Off the plate. That's down. Reno. Steve. 
I think that was a ball. It's fouled off. That's going to make it a full count. And Petrie Thornton delivers. There's a hard hit ball. Oh, it's going to roll to the wall. Petrie Thornton, he's not a speedster by any means, but he's going to take off. Petrie's actually going to try to extend it to a triple. He's in there. A two-out triple, and that brings up Yusuf Stark. Can the pitcher get a hit here to bring in a run? Gonna be one and two. Nope, two and two. I did not want to swing at that, but you know what? That's probably realistic. We go to the third inning. Runner stranded on third. Moto Washington, Enzo Hornblower, Colorado Furthermore. Coming up to bat the turn of the order. Now batting the catcher, number 34. Gonna be fouled off. Ooh, great pitch there. And another great pitch, and Yusuf Stark strikes him out. That will bring up Enzo Hornblower, the pitcher. And for some reason, I can't hit the strike zone with him. Right, really? Another strike. Oh, good Lord. Enzo got really mad. Throws the bat down. Almost knocks out the bat boy. Now to bring up Colorado furthermore. We were worried about the youngsters pitching here in games one and two, but thus far, it has proved to be a great asset. Round ball. Stacy Sevens is going to get to it thus far through a game and three innings of pitching. Had to bring up the bottom of the third. Lethal D feline. Sky Rodriguez and Z Striker. Let's see what the goddess of swing can do here. I didn't mean to swing at that. That was an accident. I didn't mean to swing at that one, and that's going to be great down the line. And that's going to get a couple bases for lethal. And that's a leadoff double here in the bottom of the third. So we've already got somebody in scoring position, and that brings up Sky Rodriguez. If Sky leaves us after the season, I may go into depression. That ball is hit really hard. Did Sky get enough of it? She did. Put it on the board. A two-run shot. And Sky Rodriguez has lit up not only my heart, but the lives of the home fans here as it makes it two to nothing. The Drakes go on top here in game two. Sky's the limit. That's a good one. That'd be a great shirt. That will bring up Z. Get through. Oh, and it will. Z, Z, what? This is the Z we had early in the season. Like, Z hit all of these little chip and hit shots. That's why he won the triple crown. But, like, then he would just hit home runs in between. That will bring up Molo. And Molo, she turned on that one, but I don't think she quite got enough of it. Marshall Ball going to haul that one back in. Z retreats back to first. It's a one out here in the bottom of the third. Scoring has been unlocked on this game. There's a hard hit ball. Oh, nice catch by Marquez, and Z has to slide back in. That will bring up Stacy Sevens. Looking for a hit here.
Ooh, 0 and 2 here. She'll strike out. Nerves getting the best of her here, but the two run shot by Sky makes it 2 0 as we head to the fourth. World War II fan leads off Hazel Dean and Jason Hull coming up the bat. Go to work here on World War II fan. That's a bad pitch. Yep. And he's going to get a base hit. Oh, and it's misplayed. Z misplays it, and World War II fan is going to get a double out of that. So a runner in scoring position all of a sudden, and Kate Hazeldean comes up with no outs. And that will definitely hold the runner as it rolls right to him. The one out, Jason Hull comes up to bat. Oh, and Molo couldn't come up with it, and that's going to score a run. And it's going to be 2-1 now. The Cyclones get on the board early here. So Yusuf has given up a first run of the game here for the Cyclones. Oh, she slid across the base. What a double play. Holy cow. I've never seen that. Molo slides across second with the, the dive, gets the run, stands up, and turns the double play, the 6-3 double play. Holy cow. So one run will score. It's 2-1. We do have a ball game here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a hard hit ball. Oh, and he couldn't come up with that one, so least expected is going to get on. Definitely wall hacks. Petrie Thornton. Mo Fence. Worried about least expected stealing over there. I should have swung at that. That's a double play ball. Now to bring up the pitcher, Yusuf Stark. So the Cyclones trying to hold us back here. That's a hard hit ball, but right to Marquez, and that is what the Cyclones needed. Marshall Ball, Emilio Marquez, Moto Washington. 2-1 game as we go to the fifth here. Oh, God, what have I done? Okay, we're, we're fine. Crisis averted. That's popped up. Least expected. We'll catch that in the grass. Now batting the shortstop, number Emilio Marquez. Oh, and Emilio Marquez has tied this ball game up. It is 2-2 here in the Drake Stadium. Good Lord, that ball was caught well. And Yusuf Stark is going to need some managerial advice heading forward. 2-2 game. So Louisville starting to take advantage of the lefty here. Emilio! Thank you for the 100 bits, Sir James. I appreciate that. And there's another strikeout. All right, that's what we need. We need Yusuf just to calm down, let the bats do their job, and we should be okay. That will bring up the pitcher. Bad pitch. Right to Sky, though. We should have it. 
Here we go. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. It's a 2-2 game now. So Louisville has battled back. The top of the Drake order is coming up to bat. The Goddess of Swing leading off. Sky Rodriguez and then Z Striker. No one. That's a hard hit ball, but right to World War II fan. He's going to toss it over, and Enzo holds on to it for out number one. That will bring up Sky Rodriguez. Going to foul that off. 2-2 two, two still. I didn't mean to swing at that, but I think that's going to drop. Oh, it does. Colorado furthermore couldn't get to it. And that is a base hit for Sky. So that will bring up Z. He's two for two today. He's locked in. One out. And that may be to the gap. It may be caught. It is. Shoot. 2 2 game. Molo. Molo is tense. I'm not sure why. And that's going to be a base hit. The two on, two outs. I think that brings up Travis here. Pressure starting to build. Come on, Travis. And that's going to be hit down the line, and that's probably going to bring in some runs. One run comes in. They're going to send Z home, and that's going to be an RBI, two RBI double for Travis, and it's 4-2 Drakes. The perfect hit, and that's what they needed to go back on top here in the bottom of the fifth. Had to bring up Stacy Sevens. And that's going to get cut off by Marquez, and that will end the fifth inning. The damage is done, though. 4-2 as we head to the sixth. It's going to be the top of the order for the Cyclones as well. Now batting the left fielder, number 45. Ooh. All right, we just need to breathe. Yusuf still got a, maybe an inning or two left in him. Our bullpen is good to go. And that's going to be a fair ball. Petrie Thornton's going to throw it down, and that is out number one. That's a terrible pitch. If he pitches like that, he's not going to keep in, stay in the game. But I can't wear out my bullpen either. That's down. Oh, that's a beautiful pitch. That's outside. Hard hit ball, but right to Stacy Sevens. Two away. So Cade Hazeldean steps up. Crushed down the line, but it's called foul. 0-2 pitch, and he gets in the swing. And Yusuf Stark sets him down. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Least expected, Petrie Thornton and Yusuf Stark. My lord, the Drake's trying to go up two games in this series. Least expected comes out, Enzo. His stats have really taken a dive. That's off the plate. And there's a base hit up the gut. So the leadoff hitter is on for the Drakes. Maybe time. I don't know if they can go to their bullpen. Oh, they can. Kyrone Throne coming out. So Enzo Hornblower's day is done. Kyrone Throne's got a great ERA, seven strikeouts. He wasn't ready for game one, but he is here in game two. He'll go up against Petrie Thornton. Petrie's going to hit it down the third base line. Hazel Dean trying to get two. There's one, and there's two. A great five, four, three double play. 
I will bring up the pitcher use of Stark. Well, good defense by the Cyclones. Hard hit ball. Oh, Jason Hull cut that off beautifully. And that will be the end of the six. So both sides come out with goose eggs. We go to the seventh. It's a 4-2 game. Jason Hull will lead off. Kahua splits. Marshall ball. Now batting the second baseman, number nine. Hard hit ball. Oh, and oh, man. And that's going to be a hit. Molo couldn't come up with it. I hope Molo is not. Oh, they're taking. Oh, they're putting a pinch runner in. Really? Oh, Hole got injured. He pulled his hammy. Okay, Molo loves fine now. So she's not even. I, I thought she was uh, stressed. But our bullpen is going to start working. That's two hits already here. So the two tying runs are on base. Yusuf struggling some. What a pitch. That'll bring up Emilio Marquez. He had a home run earlier in the game. A home run here would give them the lead. Guy could not get to that. The bases are now loaded. One out. Things starting to get a tense. Moto Washington comes up to bat. We're actually going to switch pitchers here. Um, I think I'm going to go with Rise. Yes, good pitch, Rise Paper. Oh, so they got a big decision. Do they let their pitcher bat here or take him out? Oh, my God, and they put a rattled pinch hitter in. What does the rest of their bullpen look like? Okay, their closer's good to go. T is not, and oh, that, that was... They're, they've, well, they got a gamble. They've got a gamble. And the gamble is not going to pay off. Leave little flips. Rise of paper holds on to it. We move on. So Sutton Pittman is coming in to pitch. It's a 4 2 game. Top of the order coming up now. I hated to pull Yusuf, but it was time. Lethal D, Sky, and Z coming up the bat here. Sutton Pittman. We've already seen her in the series. And she's going to go. Oh, maybe. Lethal outruns that one. Great hustle play. That will bring up Sky Rodriguez. She's two for three today. This could be the beginning of the end here. That's a double play ball. That will bring up Z. The base is empty now. So that was a big turn right there. And that may be the best pitching that Pittman has done all season. She gets through the big hitters of the, the Drakes. We go to the eighth. It is still 2-4. Top of the order coming up for the Cyclones. The left fielder, number 45. Bad pitch. Out off. Foul ball. That's outside. A called strike three. Rise of paper tearing up that inside corner right now. Number 
That will bring up World War II fan. Oh, that's a bad pitch. And that's another called strike three. Rise of paper. Now batting the third baseman, number six. Two outs here. K to Hazeldean. And that's popped up. Stacy Sevens goes back out, makes the catch. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Time running out for the Louisville Cyclones. Mother Love, Travis the Unknown, Stacy Sevens coming up the bat. The shortstop, number 39. Molo, hard hit, but right to World War II fan. He handles that one. Had to bring up Travis. Two RBIs. He's the difference in the game today. And he hammers that one, but it's right to furthermore for out two. And once again, Stacy Sevens comes up the bat. She is tense. And that's right to Marquez. I'm going to have to do a... Let's do a little bit of a uh, sub here. We're going to put Dig in to play second base. A defensive sub here. I don't want to take any chances. Top of the ninth. We're also going to bring Kamen in. Seal this deal. Bad pitch. Drive right back to Cayman, though. We'll take it. One away. Who a splits. One for three today. Bad pitch. And called strike three. The fork ball falls from the attic and lands in the zone. So it all comes down to Marshall Ball. That's low. Oh, that's that's right in the middle. And he didn't swing at it. That was the biggest mistake I've made on a pitch this whole game. And that has popped up. The Drakes are going to take a two-game lead here in the World Series. The series swings over to Louisville, Kentucky. The Drakes will have a two-game advantage as they win this one. Four get runs to two. 12 hits to seven. A good competitive game all the way through. The Cyclones had a real chance. They tied it up, and then they immediately gave it back away, but there were opportunities for them to even the series up. They failed to do so, so the series will move to their home field, and hopefully they can get something going. World War II fan did go one for four today. He did have a strikeout. Moto Washington, another abysmal performance. 0 for 3 with 3 strikeouts. He was one of the best hitters in the league during the season. I don't know what's happened to him here in the playoffs. But is definitely hurting the Cyclones. Lethal goes 3 for 4. Sky Rodriguez, 2 for 4 today with a 2-run home run. Uh, Z goes 2 for 4. Molo goes 1 for 4. Travis, 1 for 4 with 2 RBIs. They were the difference in the game. Stacy Sevens, another 0 for 4 performance. Dig did not get the bat. Least expected two for three. Petrie Thornton one for three. And Yusuf, he struck out once 0 for three batting, but that's okay. Enzo Hornblower will take the loss. 11 hits, four earned runs, two strikeouts, and one given up home run in five innings of work. Then uh, Chiron Throne and Pittman come in, and they did their job. The bullpen stood up for the Cyclones, but the bats were quiet. Yusuf Stark will get his second win of this playoff stretch. Two earned runs, seven hits, six strikeouts, and six and a third. Rise of Paper come in and did a solid day's work 
an inning and two thirds with three strikeouts. And then Kamen comes in and gets the save. A strikeout on an innings of work, a work. Sky Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. Is your player of the game. Two for four, two RBIs. That home run was a deal maker in the process. Yusuf Stark and then Emilio Marquez, who tried to keep the Cyclones in this, but just fell short. And that's going to bring up a big game here. The Battle of the Aces. Captain Pete, a chance to seal the deal and be the hero that he says he is. He is tense, but he is juiced. Sir James, the lefty, has carried the team all season long. We'll just have to see. Ready's his channel points. I'll have to figure out what we're going to do for the thing. I'll, I'll take suggestions and chat about what our prediction should be. Should it be run support again or should it be something else? You all type some things out. But I'm going to take a real quick bio break and stretch the legs. And I'll be right back. I guess we're going to get geared up for game three. Hello, Zero. How are you doing this evening? The Atlantic Drakes somehow have just been on a tear. When they get in the playoffs, they smell blood and they go right for it. They now lead the Louisville Cyclones two games to nothing. We shift to Louisville, Kentucky, where the Aces will now battle it out. Sir James trying to keep his team alive. Captain Pete trying to seal the deal. We look at their records during the season. Will help if I click into the window. Captain Pete went nine and three this season. It was not the dominating season that we are used to seeing from Captain Pete. Four two five ERA. He gave up twelve home runs, the most by anybody on the staff, which was surprising. He did have sixty eight strikeouts and held opponents under three hundred. Is really good. We're going to need that. Taking a look at Sir James. I'm pretty sure he started the season out a little rough, but then got better. Wow. He only had two wins all season. It looks like their entire bullpen got all the wins and losses. Two and one with a 2.85 ERA, 47 strikeouts. Oh, he held the opponents to under two or 260 average wise. He only gave up eight home runs. All hope goes into Sir James for this game. He's getting paid $10 million. Let's see if he earns it. So here we go. Captain Pete with his 1-0 record here in the playoffs. The 5-1-4 ERA versus Sir James, who is 1-1 with a 2-7-0 ERA. Yeah, no pressure. Nothing. We have a DH in the lineup. What do we do here? I don't think we change much. I don't know if Sir Studs is ready to go yet either. Get Zenus back in there. We'll leave seven in there right now for defensive purposes. So Lethal is gonna be playing third. Jason McMongoose on first. Travis the Unknown, and least Stacy Z- Zenus. Mother Love. Why in the world was Mother Love not on the lineup? Oh, I changed it that last game. That's why. All right, so Lethal Sky Z, that's left. Travis Molo. Uh, let's put Molo fourth. Travis, Jason, least expect. This is a... We got Zenus. Zenus is in there. So, um, yeah, this is this is a crazy lineup. Pete is both tense and juiced. So he's a very confused man at this point. So I'm hoping that doesn't mess with him. But it does look like that his velocity is crazy. So he should have amazing fastballs.
It's always pressure when I get into these positions. I didn't know I turned that off. Um, I didn't change anything. So I thought you all could actually do the... Uh, the things. Yeah, I think if you all do that, so I'll, I'll put the prediction up. So you all want to do the run support prediction again? We're on a, No, we'll do run support. Because that would be the, uh, the interesting one. I'm pitching all nine. They're going to have to murder me. We'll see about that. All right. I like this lineup. Is this the lineup that's going to win the World Series for us? I don't know. But we've got DH the next two games. I do like that Sky is just batting. So that does give us some more defense on third base. And uh, But Jason McMongoose is kind of weak on first. So I don't know if he'll pull off all the plays. We can always bring in Dig for Stacy Sevens. Uh, and then Sir Studs is not ready just yet. But here we go. Louisville, Kentucky. Drake's lead two games to none. They can clinch the series tonight. What's going to happen? World War II fan is leading off. Moto Washington is shoved to ninth. They've got Mackie in there who is juiced. Crazy lineups. But it starts with us. We are the away team here in Louisville. Lethal D, Sky, Z, leading it off. My God, the channel points are flowing right now. now the third Lethal D, Feline, locked in. Ready to go up against Sir James. I could have took that pitch to the moon. And that's up the middle for a base hit. The goddess of swing is on here. Now batting the designated hitter, Sky Rodriguez. That brings Sky Rodriguez up. And that ball is hit down the line. Is it going to get caught? No, it's going to get down. And they're going to hold the runner at third. So runners in scoring position. Sir James already struggling in this game. Z Striker steps up to bat. No outs, two on. All one. 2 0. Oh. oh, got him on the change up there. And that's hit up the middle. One run will score. Go back. It wouldn't let me send Sky when I wanted to. It's one nothing, an RBI single, still no outs. That will bring up Mother Love. Pitch there. Oh, and she's going to pop that up. I don't think it's going to be deep enough to score Sky. That is the first out. Travis the Unknown comes up to bat. Runners on first and third. This is game three of the World Series. That is probably a double play. And that will keep any more runs from scoring. So Sir James gives up one, but he shuts the door. His bats will come up now. World War II fan Emilio Marquez and Cade Hazeldean. Captain Pete stretching it out. Oh, 
That was 100 miles per hour. It's fouled off. Oh, Lethal can't get it. Can Molo make the throw? Yes! What an assist! That'll bring up Emilio. Oh my god, it slowed down so much I thought Pete was a dead man. That is a base hit. Cade Hazeldean steps up here. And that ball is smoked. So now the tables have turned. It's two on, one out here. Mmm. Up. That's popped up. He's calling for it. Great throw, and it holds the runner. So two outs. Kaua splits. He's the DH tonight. Steps up. Bows that one off. Right to Lethal, and Lethal will make the snag at third, and that will end the inning. Two runners stranded. We go to the second here in game three, the deciding, what could be the deciding game of the World Series between the Louisville Cyclones and the Atlantic Drakes. The Goose trying to get loose here, least expected, and Stacy Sevens. Uh, the, no, Yuko, the other ones were um, during the day. Hmm. Hit down the line, it's a fair ball! The Goose! Oh, it took a good bounce there, so he'll get a single out of that. And to bring up least expected. For James. We put that one over the pipe. The Goose got a little loose. He just, just a little bit. Goose is going to advance this. Oh, they tried to get him. They don't. But uh, least expect it was not. It was a good hit and run just to avoid the double play. The Goose's wings fluttered a little bit. Water gently caressed off the back. Come on, Stacy Sevens. We need a hit here. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, Sir James just uh, showing me what it's like now. Two and two. I have no idea why I swung at that. That will bring up Zenus. Mr. Dependable. Can he be dependable here and bring in another run? Oh, that was a good pitch. One and two now. And that may bring him home. We're going to send him home no matter what. And it's going to be 2 nothing Drakes. An RBI for Mr. Dependable Zenus Islon. The third baseman, number 26. <sighs> that will bring up the goddess of swing. And she's going to hammer that one. But it's caught by Sean Shipwright. We go to the bottom of the second. Just doing a little game recap here. Marshall Ball, Carlton Starr, Sean Shipwright do up 2-0. Sir James trying to contain this offensive rally. Now back, the right fielder, number 27. <sighs> That's down. That ball's hit well. Z makes the catch an amazing bandit king nominee right there here in game three of the world series holy cow Max, that was a gamble if i would have missed that 
Oh, that's a bad pitch. It's right the Molo. She won't let me down. Two away. Had to bring up Sean Shipwright. Oh, that ball's hit really well. Travis, though, retreats back slightly, makes the catch, and that will end the second. So still 2 nothing. Big hitters coming up here. Sky Rodriguez, Z-Striker, and Molo. First pitch. Hard hit, but it's going to go foul off the wall out there. Batting boy, he's dead. And that ball was hit really hard, but she just got underneath it. And Shipwright makes the catch. Now batting the center fielder, number so that will bring up Z. He's locked in. What he can do against Sir James. So I noticed that we're not going to have Sir James versus Pete and vice versa because of the DH. I totally forgot about that. That's two put outs there. So let's see if Molo can do something. She's going to pop out too. So a good inning there by Sir James. He quells the storm indeed of the three best hitters on the team, arguably. Go to the bottom of the third. Turn of the order coming up. Moto Washington, World War II fan, and Emilio Marquez. Now batting the catcher, number 34. Is he right? That is hit, but it's going to be fouled. What do we get him with? I'm going to say a changeup up high. We got a piece of it, and that's going to get through. That sucks. The one on, no outs. World War II fan steps up here. Number 11. Chance to be a hero. He's going to hit that, but no hero status. Z makes the catch, throws it in, one away. Got to bring up Emilio Marquez. That's a hard hit ball. That's going to get through. He had a lot of bonuses against Pete there. All those right-handed contact and power. Okay, Hazeldean, a chance. Hard hit ball. That could be a double play. There's one, and there's two. The 0-4-6-3 double play will clear the bases and in the inning. Travis the Unknown, Jason McMongoose, and least expected come up the bat here. It's still 2 0. Now batting the right fielder, number three. Sir James will come back out. Travis the Unknown. Oh, I shouldn't have moved the bat, it would have been gone. Instead, Mackey will make the catch. Here is the goose. He got his first hit of the playoffs earlier in the game. And there's going to be cut off by Hazeldean, which sounds like a spice that you put on an omelet. That's out number two. Least expected steps up here. He's batting Stone Cold Steve Austin. Good pitch by Sir James. That's hit, but it's right to Marquez, and that is another great inning for Sir James. Zesty Mackey, Kahua splits, and Marshall Ball coming up. Can they give some run support? Now batting the left fielder, number 72. Great pitch there by Captain Pete. Ooh. That's right. No strikeouts for Pete, but that's going to be a ground out. Stacy Sevens throws it over, one away. Lots of pressure here in game three. Number 
No called on that one. Okay. Oh, that's a wild pitch. Z not going to get to that one. That's a base hit. Two tons of deer antler spray. Oh, man. Perfect throw. Oh, and he still saved a fastball and a perfect throw. And it was not enough. Broken bat. Come on, get him on this. What a pitch. Don't blink. You'll miss it. Strikeout number one for Pete, I believe. That's a bad curveball. I thought you hit him. <laughs> I, I really, I thought I'd lost that one. That's right at McMongoose, and he'll nab that one. We head to the fifth inning. It's still 2 nothing. Turn of the order coming up. Stacy Sevens, Zenus Isilon, and then Lethal D Feline. Sir James, he's working on 40 pitches, no strikeouts, no walks, giving up five hits. Two runs in this game. Number seven. And Stacey Sevens goes up for it, and that's going to be a little baller hit. A baller hit. Had to bring up Zenus. And Zenus, that's a good hit, but it's going to be caught by Shipwright. One away. That will bring up the Goddess of Swing here. Hard hit ball. That could be a double play. There's one and there's two. The speedsters couldn't get to the bases. I should have stole with her. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. It's still 2-0. Sean Shipwright, Moto Washington, World War II fan coming up to bat. That's a bad curveball. Somehow we got a strike on the other side of the plate. Oh, and that gets past Stacy Sevens. She didn't even make an effort. So the leadoff batter is on. Now back, the catcher, number 34. Moto Washington steps up. Ooh, that was dirty. There we go. There's a throw out from Zenus. That's what we needed. And another a throw them out, strike them out combo. And that'll make it two outs. So the Cyclones are trying to gamble, but it's not paying off thus far. World War II fan steps up. Swings wildly at a changeup. And there's another strikeout. World War II fans sent to the bench. And we'll go to the sixth inning. The Drakes, four innings away from clinching their back-to-back -back World Series titles. Sky Rodriguez, Z Striker, Mother Love, do up. Now back, the designated hitter, <sighs> Sky Rodriguez. Sky Rodriguez, she could put pine tar on me any day. We'll take ball one. Hard hit ball. It's got a chance, and it's over the head. Mackie's going to throw it in. He might get this in here, and she's out. Why was she so slow? I don't know, but Z will come up with one out now all of a sudden. That was uh, interesting. I, I didn't think that would... Yeah, he's, he's psyched. And that's hit down the line. So Z's going to get on. We'll, we'll hold Z. A little hydrate action. Okay. 
Gotta bring up Molo. She is 0 for 2, so she is due for a hit as well. Oh, God. So she'll move the runner. So two outs, runner in scoring position, and Travis the Unknown comes up. James trying to calm down here. Hard hit. Oh, how did he catch that? We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's still 2 nothing. Marquez, Hazel Dean, Zesty Mackey coming up the bat. What a pitch. Drop this curveball. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that. Ground ball. AC7 is there. One away. Cade Hazeldean steps up. Oh, that's a bad pitch. He just watched it. Come on, Pete. Get him. Yes! Great pitch! Man, that dropped down to 82 miles per hour. Here's Zesty Mackey. Locked in and juiced. Ground ball, though. Lethal's got it. Lethal across the diamond. That's out three. We'll head to the seventh. Oh, my God. The pressure is building. The Drakes lead the series two games to none. They lead this game two games to none. They win tonight. They clinch the World Series and will have back-to-back -back titles. Jason McMongo steps up. Sir James still out there. Hard hit ball. The Goose. He fluttered his wings. Both of them now have just charged water to the sides of the field. Had to bring up least expected. Least expected looking for a hit. And that's going to get through. Two on, no outs. Top of the seventh. The Drakes trying to seal the deal. Some of the Drakes, will. this will be their third ring if they can win the night in six seasons. Oh, good Lord. And that is not going to work the way I wanted it to. Stacy Sevens missed the butt. Now she's 0-2. What do you do? Why? Why game? Oh, this may he may get back. Nope. Come on. Oh, and he's hurt. Oh my God. We're in trouble now. Bad throw. Stacy Sevens is in there. That's gonna be a pop out. That will. Retire the side, and we're going to have to make some decisions. Kahua splits, Marshall Ball, Carlton Star. Now the designated no, uh, no power. We're going to play Sir Studs a little hurt. It's It could very well be the last game of the season. Sir Studs, you're in. Good pitch, Pete. There we go. Another strikeout. Marshall Ball steps up. That's a bad pitch. 
Then go for it. God, that change up is tearing him up right now. Carlton Star. Get him to chase. Another one with the changeup. He strikes out the side. Oh my God. We go to the eighth inning. It is still 2 0. The top of the order coming up here. Yeah, because we didn't technically. He's still in the game. Now batting the third baseman. That will bring up Lethal D, the goddess of swing. Sir James still out there hurling. But I don't think they got anybody in their bullpen, really. Oh, she just missed that. Ball makes the catch. Sky Rodriguez, she's got a single and a double today. Hard hit ball. Marquez is there, though. That'll bring up Z. He's got two singles and an RBI. It's still a close game. That ball is hit really hard, but it's toward the wrong fence. It's going to bounce. Oh, he misplayed that one. Z's going to go to second. So a two-out double. That'll bring up Mother Love. She's 0 for 3 today. She's looking for a hit. That's not going to do it. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Sean Shipwright, Moto Washington, World War II fan. 2 nothing game. Anything can happen. Oh, he thought about it. Got him on the fastball on that one. I think that's four strikeouts in a row for Pete. Number 34. Where has this Pete been all season? That's inside. Oh, he got a piece of that one, but I think Lethal's going to get it. That'll bring up World War II fan. Oh, there's a base hit. Yeah, that was a wild pitch. That was out of my control. It just did that. Pete's been saving all of his energy and technique for the game that matters. But Emilio Marquez has hit a home run before. This is dangerous. The dangerous at bat here. Oh, no, 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 no. Sir Studs is out there. And he makes the catch. We go to the ninth inning. The Drakes lead 2-0. Came in warming up in the bullpen just in case. Last chance for run support. Travis the Unknown leads off. He missed it. Good pitch. Good swing. Just missed it. That'll bring up Jason McMongoose. Ball hit hard, but Shipwright is there. Two outs. Now batting, Sir Studs comes up to bat here. He's going to ground out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Cade Hazeldean, Zesty Mackey, Kawua splits. Captain Pete still out there. That ball is hit really hard, and it's a base hit. Leadoff runner is on. The Cyclones can win the game here. Number 
That is a double play. One, six, three. The Drakes are one out away. And it comes down the Kahua splits. Oh my God. What do we throw? Lethal, thank you so much for the sub. Throw some hypes in chat. Can Pete get him? We're going to throw the change up. He got a piece of it, but I think Stacy Sevens has got it. And the Drakes are going to take back to back World Series. Drake! Oh my God. Sky Rodriguez leads them out onto the field. Oh, and we got the chicken dance going on. <laughs> Captain Pete, the complete game shutout. So many questions during the season about him. And he comes back and leads the team. There's J2 also leading. Oh my God, Pac Mentality GM, thank you so much for the sub. But the Drakes at 80 Ego have went back to back World Series champions eliminating and sweeping all three series in this playoff race. <sighs> Thank you all for the subs. Thank you for the uh, chicken dance. I didn't get to see crit. Thank you so much for that. Throwing lots of hypes in the chat. The Drakes pull it off here in season six. In dramatic fashion, my God. Thank you so much for the uh, gifted subs. Holy cow. Both sides, too, pitched well. Sir James gave up those two early runs, did everything he should have as an ace, his bats just didn't come up to help him. It's because I appreciate John Cena. <laughs> How can you appreciate what you don't see? I cannot believe that just happened. Two runs in the first two innings of the game with 12 hits scattered around it. And somehow we won that game. If you would have told me we wouldn't have scored after the second inning, I would have said we would have lost. Twelve hits to eight. I mean, we just we had some very aggressive base running there at the start. So yeah, Pete technically. Did not get run support. But he still won. <sighs> Looking at the box score, Lethal Feline goes one for four, scored a run in the game. Sky Rodriguez goes two for four. Z, three for four with an RBI, could be a player of the game. Though I think Pete will nab that. Molo and Travis did not get hits today, which it didn't really matter because there was a lot of people that didn't get hits. Jason McMongoose, done well coming off the bench. Two for four today, scored once. Least expected, one for three. Sir Studs got the hit once, but he was playing injured, so that's fine. Stacy Sevens, a super quiet two for three outing. Zenus one for three with one of the only two RBIs of the game. World War II fan did go one for four. Moto Washington went one for three. Just lots of strikeouts on that side, eight total. Captain Pete will get the win. A complete game shutout. Eight strikeouts. That is the Pete we've come to know. Poor Sir James. He'll take the loss, but he pitched a complete game, giving up 
two earned runs on 12 hits, but absolutely no. No, 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 no run support. Captain Pete is your player of the game, followed by Sir James. And then Z Striker will take the silver, or the bronze, excuse me. That was a hectic season. Oh. Pay you, Pete? I don't know what... I don't know what you're talking about. Me, oh my. Rewards Captain Pete the gold medallion. It's made of chocolate, by the way. I cannot be You know, it was kind of the perfect storm, though. Kyoto was a beat-up team at the end of the season, so we got them really weak. I think if we would have played the Dirt Dogs in that second series, it would have went a lot deeper. But the Buzzard, they wore themselves out. Um... Defeating the Dirt Dogs. So by the time they got to us, we had our youngsters ready to go. And then the Cyclones, I think it was the same thing. I think the Moose, if we would have played the Moose again, um, it would have been a little bit different. Do my little screenshot action. I need a drink after that debacle. That's that's funny. So let's take a look at some of the uh, stats, the league leaders from the uh, playoffs. Captain Pete was the MVP of the playoffs. Look at that. Oh my God. I never thought that a pitcher, he had a 313 ERA, 10 strikeouts, two complete games. MVP is actually ha is trending on Twitter right now. That is actually crazy. Lethal led the playoffs with four home runs. Z and Sky right there. World War II fan. Where were you at in the World Series? Poor Queen Grimmeth knocked in those nine runs in round one and got knocked out. Well, Lethal, that was for the playoffs only, so. But yeah, you, you get the playoff you get the trophy for the playoff one. Look at all those strikeouts on the uh cyclones. Hey, putting you up there in first to bat was like, I don't know. Your player was just good at batting first. Stacy Sevens, three stolen bases, tied with Jude Rocket. Man. Well, Nadia Kramer got you all to the World Series. She had five saves in the playoffs. That's just crazy right there. No, she never got put in the game. She never was put in the game. She was fully rested and they didn't use her. Ovita Pulo won the playoff strikeouts and she only played in the first round. That is scary. <laughs> Pete's being a jerk over here. 
All right, so let's look at the regular season. So I'll screenshot these as we go along so we can review them together. Z was your season MVP, a 480 average, 25 home runs, which I'm sure has led the, se- led the league, 52 RBIs and seven walks. Alicia Woodrow, my former bay. She got runner-up Eddie Gilmore and Jim from the Herbisaur up there. It may be. Yeah, Z was tearing it up. Looking at the batting, Z does take the triple crown. I do not get the achievement for it because it is a custom league, which saddens me. Sky Rodriguez, remember they set the bench that last game, so she did not pick up any more RBIs to keep Z from getting it. I thought that was really nice. She finishes tied for second in home runs. Great averages across the board there. I will definitely take me a drink. I need that. Thank you, Yuko. Hey, K-Wolf, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Let's throw some hypes in the chat for that. Let's go. Thank you so much for that, my friend. I do appreciate that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for viewing. Remember, if you're out there lurking, go ahead and hit that follow button. Why follow your dreams when you can follow me? And remember, a trade offer. For every sub that I get, I get a sub. ATL, just down south off of I-75. Thanks for joining us. Glad you've been here. I don't miss I, I don't miss the ATL traffic, though. That's all I'll say. I feel like you gotta have a tank to drive through some of that. Good trade. It is a good trade, I think. All right, so the batting here, we don't usually go by this. These stats just kind of stack on each other. I'm sure some of you stat nerds love the slugging and on-base percentage. So Z got on base half of the times that he batted. That is kind of a crazy stat to think about. So that means that 50% of the time that he got up to bat, he got on the base somehow. That is crazy. That is crazy, crazy to think about. And I don't remember, maybe I should look it up here. I know this is going to sound bad. I remember a lot, but I don't remember how they get the slugging percentage. The total number of bases a player records per at bat. Slugging percentage. Okay, yeah, it only deals with hits and does not include walks. So is that saying that, like... He covered 95% of the bases each time he got on... Got got a hit? Oh, is it just for one base? Yeah, I was going to say the, the multiple base hits would, like, stack that, that percentage way up for him. How many hits did he have? Oh, wait, that'll be the next screen, won't it? Oh, yeah, he had... He had 97 hits. 25 of those were home runs. And then whatever the extra base hits were after that. Yeah, he had 44 extra base. So 25 plus 44 is 69. So 69 of his... Well, no, because extra base hits include home runs too. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to sit down and study it a little bit more. We had lots of hits on our team. Sky Rodriguez, she had an amazing season playing back up to him. Uh, they were, I, I really think signing Sky has been the biggest difference because, like Z, it takes a lot of pressure off him that he can get those little base hits and it doesn't matter. So, like, whether she's hitting a home run or he's hitting a home run, we've got home runs happening. And then people like Molo and Lethal get geared up and they'll hit home runs too. So, that was one of the best people we brought in to play third base, even taking the chance on her uh, fielding ability. Lots of runs scored there. I mean, right there is 99 runs. The, the times they come in the home. I mean, that's just crazy. And then Stacy Seven's down there. 
World War II fan, Inferno Canuck on that list. Ouch, crit. Ouch. Sir Studs did win the stolen base. You get the golden base, sir. Congratulations. Stacy Sevens did surpass run to third. Took all 28 home. Colton Conrad, Captain Pete, finished the season with the most wins. Yusuf Stark, the rookie, with eight. None of our pitchers were up there on the ERA, though. We did give up more runs this season than we normally do, but we did score a lot more. Alicia Woodrow up there. Came in 13 saves. That's amazing. Emmanuel Harrell of the Buzzard, though, will have this. Nadia Kramer's up there. Man, she must be a really good closer. If Cayman ever jumps ship, we need to remember her. Captain Pete did finish. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Tied for sixth, though. I think they would calculate that as tied for ninth, maybe. No, they would do it. One, two, three, four. This is five. It'd be tied for eighth, I think. Because I think they still count these in the numbers. Maybe. I, I don't remember. Yeah, tied for eighth. So that, that, that was right. Not bad. I mean, and Pete had an off season, too. Alicia Woodrow ran away with the strikeout crown. She's just stuck on the moon stars. The Miramar Moonstars. It sucks to be her. Maybe she'll become a free agent. I'm really interested to see what players do shift after this season because of ages. Pete had a 17 to 1 walk strikeout walk ratio. I mean, if Pete leaves, I think Colton Conrad's the next Pete stepping up. And then Yusuf looks very amazing. Yeah, the postseason scares me. But there's a lot of players that we've got to, like, think about. Like, just look at age-wise. I would say Bubba is gone. I, Bubba gets to walk off to that golden pasture with a ring. We got Bubba. He, you know, from age 38 to 43, he didn't have a ring, but now he has one. I think Petrie leaves. Um, I don't think least expected is old enough. I think after 35 is the, the cutoff. So, but I think Petrie and Bubba leave. I would say a few other players may leave based on skill improvements. I don't remember which ones actually went up overall. Those are usually the ones that sometimes move. Like a Sky, she could leave because she's not been on the team that long. Uh, Dig, he may jump off. Uh, if we go for age on pitchers. Markso is probably the closest that could retire. J2 could do that. Um, but there's a lot of teams out there that's got, you know, players that may leave. I mean, we go back and look at, let's see. Um, let's just take a look at Louisville. You know, what's their age? So they got Melio's 37. So, and then Blue Gallagher's 39. So, I mean, anything can happen. But yeah, that will make it an interesting offseason. So here was your season stats. If you wanted to look at what all that looked like record-wise. I think if we do season seven, we'll definitely have to up it up to 85 or something. Just to see what happens. If the playoffs were today... Oh, they were yesterday. My bad. <laughs> um, yep. 
That was a fun season. If you would have told me going up to 80 Ego that on Master Difficulty we would have won back-to-back -back World Series, I would have laughed at you. I honestly thought the Buzzard would knock us out. Either the Buzzard or the Dirt Dogs would have knocked us out in the second round. I thought we would get past Kyoto because they just looked like trash there before the playoffs when we played them in the regular season. Um... But uh, yeah, yeah, this turned out to be our best season. So maybe like the faster the pitches go, maybe the better I am. Maybe. I don't know. So I was pretty good at hitting fastballs at my young age. But my old man eyes shouldn't be able to keep up with them electronically, I guess. Hashtag all nine for Captain Pete tonight. He just wanted to be carried off the field. But Pete, if you noticed... When they threw you up and then we walked into the outfield, it was J2 who was the center of attention. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Oh, my bad. John. John was center stage. Strictly John was center stage. My apologies, Grimoth. In a way, what you say he was carried, Pete? <laughs> he wasn't lifted up like a champion by his teammates. Look, J2 had some great stats this season. You all love to give him crap, but his freaking pitcher did amazing. He went 7-2. and two. He had the best ERA of all the starters with a 309. He gave up tied for the least amount of runs, and he gave up the least e earned runs of any of the pitchers. He actually pitched more innings than Pete. Colton actually pitched more. He did give up the most hits, and he had the highest average. But still, 51 strikeouts. He gave up a fourth of the home runs that Pete did. I know, reputation. And then even in the playoffs, he won the game, the games that he, you know, the one that he wanted needed to. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that is true. Pete had one of his rough. I mean, nine and three record is good, but that ERA. J two is expendable. What? I I think teams just learned how to hit Pete's fastball was the problem. He needs to get his velocity up a little bit. Oh, are we try? Are we gonna have to debate whether Captain Pete is elite or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Ooh. Elite Pete. Sky's the limit t shirts now on sale. Try it. Got a picture of her face and the championship trophy. Now, Pete, may, were you... The, well, yeah, season one, you were probably the MVP. Not last year, though. Last season, you were not the MVP of the playoffs. But this year, you were. <laughs> oh, my... Thanks, Grimoth. Glad you brought that up. Oh. All right, so here's what we're going to do moving forward. I think the stream tonight's going to be done, and the reason why is I got to get up super early in the morning and drive down for my nephew's graduation. Um, we will do the Oregon Trail 2 Revenge Tour Monday night. Possibly Tuesday as well or Wednesday. A combination of two of those three days will be Oregon Trail. Um, 
We will do the off season later on in the week, maybe a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. Um, if you want to make a player for season seven, I don't know when we'll do season seven. We'll probably take a little break as we always do in between. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's that's where we're at in the world of today. If you're out there lurking and you want to join the Discord server, exclamation point Discord, we'll give you a link to that. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at SKS Plays. But as for everything tonight, for all the bits, for all the subs, for all the follows, thank you all so very much for that. Once again, your Atlantic Drakes are the World Series champions back to back years in a row. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody. A very special thanks for these May Patreon supporters. If supporters were a bowling alley, I would roll my balls up and down them. Party Commissar, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Cortez, Zachary McKinley, and Nicholas Absher.